and maybe I can get somebody to cut this off at the beginning and we'll start right now. Okay. Welcome to Merle's Pearls of Business Wisdom, where I, Merle M. Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker, talks about relationships and how they impact the workplace. Today, we're going to talk about how can you help with team uh, uh, with teams getting along when you're not the leader of the team when you've got a bunch of people at work that um, that you're a part of working with but you're not in charge of them so how how can you make um, communication and uh, things go better but you're not you're not the boss. It's not for you to say, no, Bill, you do that. No, Jane, you do that. Or Bill and Jane, you got to get along with each other. <laughs> so uh, that's a little tricky, isn't it? Yes, the answer is yes, it is a little tricky. So there are things, however, that you can do kind of <clears throat> behind the scenes. Uh, first of all, First of all, you have to realize that you're not a nobody, that you are a part of the team and that how you act uh, uh, has an influence on the people around you. So if you're grouchy all the time and you're annoyed because this is a really annoying team that you're working with, then it shows. It not only shows, it drags other people down. So first thing you can do is be upbeat, be respectful. Respect every single person in your group. Respect every single person, period. I, I, I've told the story about, um, uh, I, it comes to mind every time I think about respecting not just your colleagues, but, and not just your bosses, but the people that are uh, at, at, at a, that make less money, that do things that people say are of less important, but of course they're very important. The guy that sweeps the floor, the gal that sweeps the floor is absolutely important. Everybody, you who, everybody is important. If we're just, if, if the universe is just one big, huge uh, puzzle, every piece, every one of us has a value in the big picture. So if you come from that point of view and are respectful of all the people that you encounter, you've just made a huge contribution to that team. Just, you haven't, haven't said anything to anybody. You haven't uh, changed any, a, a, any ideas that anybody has. You've just changed yourself. And yet you've created a more positive environment. And, and, and an environment where more of those people in that circle, because there's always... When there's a bunch, there's always one, oh, that person isn't important or whatever. So you've just given everybody equal, good respect. Honestly. And so that's number one. Number two is observe. Notice what's going on. And when while you're observing... You don't have to be talking. You don't have to be telling people, oh, no, 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 Mary, you, you, you should give him a chance. Uh, Bill, uh, you know, that that's true, but just listen. Just listen. If we could zip it more, it would be... <laughs> what would happen if we zipped it more is we'd hear more of what's going on. So that's kind of important. Now, one of the things 
that I teach about how to get along with people in the workplace will also work for how to change um, uh, the environment of of a you know a small uh, a small group project group uh, that that you have in your workplace. Here's the thing that you can do: you pick the person in the group that is least respected and uh, or least liked. I mean, they might, they might even be the boss. And take that person and just give that person a, uh, a compliment. Not, not fancy, oh, you're so fabulous. Uh, but something like, uh, oh, you got a new haircut, looks nice. Or, I, <laughs> you know, you have, I like the shoelaces. I mean, everybody has nice shoes, but you have really cool shoelaces. And that's it, something simple, to, it's something that's barely a sentence. And you say it to them, it has to, you have to believe it, by the way, it has to be honest. Everything, everything, anything you ever get from me is, you have to be honest. If you can't be honest, don't say anything. And then at least you're not dishonest. Just don't say anything. But if you're going to help out, often the person that's the meanest is often the time that's the least secure or very, um, how can I say, having problems. Maybe either at work or at home. And so... If there's things that you don't know about, then you can just give it a shot. Just just say something nice to that person and do it on a regular basis. And you don't say anything to anybody else and you don't make it a big deal. So people don't could, could pretty much not even notice that you're doing it. You might even do it when it's just the two of you or one time in front of the group or just various different things. Just enough to realize that somebody is, so that guy or gal knows somebody's looking at him and seeing something nice. It's one nice thing. What is it? It's one sentence. Nice shoelaces isn't even a sentence. <laughs> So think in terms of doing that for that person that seems to be the least secure, the least appreciated in the group. And I have to tell you, you're gonna see things change in the group. The environment will change. People, you're creating a more, uh, how am I going to say this? A, a, a nice environment, a comfortable, comfortable environment for the people that are there. Maybe a little bit more relaxed, even though there's pressure to get this job done and da, 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 da. still you can be relaxed while you're working hard. And if you, uh, I really wish you would. <laughs> take me seriously enough to do that and then report back because my experience has been with other people that have tried this that it's enormously effective and uh, that's it that is it so what you're you're not you're not taking over the uh, the the, uh, the, uh, the group leader's job. Notice, you're not. You're just. You're just there as one of the group and and participating and doing you know, all the things that you would do in the group. It's just that you're doing it in. in you've you're creating your own personal environment your aura, your personal environment of respect for everyone. And 
uh, a, a, a little nice comment, compliment, something you can go around and do it to everybody at various times. It's a, a very effective way. It's like carrying, <laughs> instead of uh, that peanuts, who, who was the one that had the cloud around him? <laughs> that dark cloud. <laughs> You're the one that's going around with the sun. You're carrying the sun around with you to everybody, and it makes a difference in the in that little group around you. So that's that's my word of the day. I I I. I it sounds, it it doesn't sound professional and and uh, corporate. It's just people. Uh, relationship effective. It, it works. So do it and uh, report back to me. <laughs> I would love that. So thank you for listening to Merle's Pearls of Business Wisdom with me, your host, Merle M. Singer, the Relationship Miracle Worker. You can find this episode and all past episodes at relationshipmiracleworker.com slash podcast because it's a podcast now, as well as on Spotify, Apple, your other favorite podcast platforms. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is awesome. So, bye everyone. See you next week, okay? Uh, and tune in to uh, Thursday Thoughts with Merlin and Patty, only it's Merlin and Nady this week and next week. But I will see you next week at 12 o'clock Pacific time. Have a great week and try this out and let me know. Take care. Bye.